Hola, que pasa? It's me, Susie, um, doing my Tree Mother's Moments blogs, uh, whatever you want to call them these days. Um, it's me blogging. <laughs> um, let's see today for no Thursday, um, February 20th, uh, 2014. What can we talk about today? Well, my day started with my plans to go visit my brothers. Epic fail. Uh, freezing rain, flooding between here and there was not going to happen. And then um, nurse yesterday screwed up my grandmother's uh, catheter. So I, being the awesome granddaughter who is totally trained as a CNA to take things out, was able to disconnect that sucker in a heartbeat. But man, was I mad as hell because her stomach was so distended. And I told the nurse yesterday, something is wrong. The bags, you know, they can be wrong. G2 feeding bags have kinks in them, so can Foley catheter bags. But when it affects my grandmother, okay, and it has, uh, you know, made her stomach bloat into something horrible, okay, which is why nobody's seen any special pictures of her today hanging out with me. Because she's in bed relaxing because, damn, she had a rough day, and I feel really bad. Um, You know, I just... <sighs> had enough of a day and then my dad was trying to cheer me up and took me to Denny's and what happened? <laughs> His car actually stopped starting. It, it wouldn't go on and so this nice guy Andy gave me this great um, ride back home in a cab which was really cool of him because he didn't charge me any money and I never met him before but I felt like I could feel, spill my whole life story to him in like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh my lord, I don't think there's anything that poor man didn't hear about my life summed up in like 20 minutes. And then, um, you know, uh, Gaby had a good day at school, which is fantastic. And Christian was tired, but he had a good day, so that was fantastic. And, um, well, let's see. Jamie and I are having a difference of opinion because I believe that when it comes to somebody uh, that you love... And you have to make a very tough decision, which I did. Um, you know, I think you guys, if anybody's paying attention to my blogs, I don't even know. Uh, I saw a couple of days ago, I'm like, did I don't believe you should lie to your doctor about anything? And I don't. Um, because it only hurts you, it doesn't help you. And so, um, yeah, a few things have been slightly delayed, okay? And more testing needs to be done and, you know, shit happens. Um... But in my conscience, because I am a decent human being, despite the fact that some people are talking such utter crap about me, but hey, politics, Howard Stearns, you know, whatever. Okay, um, I am a damn good mother, and I'm a hell of a wife, and I'm a good granddaughter, and I just need to really stress that. <laughs> my grandma, okay, she might not remember everything, but you know what? I will. I'll remember all the good things she ever did to me. I'll remember how she wailed my ass in first grade for running out of school and running down Washington Street. And, oh, that chunkla, I will never forget that day. And I will remember, you know, being in her awesome garden full of roses. And I will remember just everything. She took care of me, my brother and sister, in her 60s when my parents were having their own grown-up issues, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to go there. <laughs> um, but I always promised my grandma that, you know, she was my heart and soul, and she taught me to be this really good person with a good heart, and my mother taught me that you should listen to your damn gut instincts because if not, okay, you're screw yourself. And she was right. And after that last moment of misplaced trust where I thought, oh, sure, family, trust family, okay? Because, I mean, what could possibly happen? Husband's going to surgery. What could possibly happen? Yeah, big mistake on my part. So I learned from that. And then I also learned, okay, that, you know, there are no people you could trust except for yourself. Usually your mother, your gut instincts. Um, But I like to teach my kids that they could trust their mother. And um, poor Gabriel is really feeling bad because he didn't trust his mother. And uh, so now we have a whole course of events yet to come. And, uh, you know, we've dealt with all his school things day by day, and the meltdowns that we knew would come, day by day, and, uh, you know, his therapy, day by day. Um, and I made sure everybody had all the documentation they needed and all the information they needed, and I guess some people just really underestimate the fact that <laughs> I am not 18 no more. 
I have learned that you should never lie to your doctor. You should never lie to your children's therapist. And by golly, I don't know. I could write a life's book story about all the crap family has put me through. And I can only thank God that I got to meet family of my grandmother's... Not my grand... Well, no, not really my grandmother's side. Nope, yeah. My grandfather's side, um, who have all been very, very beautiful people who have been very kind to us and too darn bad they live so far away but we've been able to keep up via Facebook and try for phone calls and I'm still waiting for Mama Nosey's phone number people um and an address would be great and D still waiting for you to say hey what's up and Tank nothing but love for you I am so sorry I've not been to Brooklyn yet I really really need a vacation and I'm working on it and um you know I just I got people to take care of. Everybody relies on me. and uh, But, damn it, I'm still going to take that vacation no matter what it costs me at this point. Spring break is coming up, and uh, I'm thinking, um, yeah, Mommy's going to take spring break, too. <laughs> I need to go back to my roots. I need to go back to the people that were like, family is first. You don't screw over family. Family, okay, is where it all begins. If you don't teach your kids family is important, okay, then it never happens. And I keep trying. My mother's dead. My sister's dead. And I thought, damn, the only thing I have for my children is to offer them, you know, their dad's side of the family. And I tried. And uh, I'm heartbroken because, you know what? I am so tired of people labeling us as bad people. Okay? You know, did it ever occur to anybody, not speaking to, like, you know, the whole entire human race, but to those involved in our personal, personal lives, that, uh, dude... We've grown up a little bit. Get a grip. I'm not 18. I'm not clueless. I'm not homeless. Been in the same place for, what, almost 10 freaking years, okay? Maybe by the skin of my teeth right now because the economy sucks and I have to have three freaking jobs. Plus, take care of Grandma and the kids and James and everything else. But, dude, really? I don't have enough time to sleep, much less do something completely idiotic and, uh... I'll tell you one thing, I am the most involved mom I know in my children's lives. And they are very publicized on Facebook. Um, and they are very well known, okay, in my town because we volunteer. And they are very well known school-wise because it just so happens that they have an awesome nurse who's known them from the health department. And, well, let's just say that nobody doesn't know us really in this town. And, well, through most of Facebook. Um... Dad Missions, God bless you for always making me laugh. And my genism, thank you for sharing my grandma's birthday page. I'm trying so hard to focus on something positive. And I really, 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 really hope that people will send some love to my grandma. Because she can be 89. And man, she has been through a lot in five years. She lost her daughter to domestic violence. She lost her granddaughter for crying out loud. She, you know, has me, my husband, my children, my dad. That's who she has. That's who she sees all the time. Tia Rosario, I know, loves her. But God bless her. She's going to be 91 and she can barely do things now. But she will find a way to come see my grandma. And I bet you she'll be here for her birthday. And you know what? I'll still do the princess theme. And I'll still do the Tierra. I will find a way to get her balloons and streamers and everything if nobody else can help me. Um, because money is tight. And I don't care. I will make my grandma a beautiful birthday. I will even cut out little Mickey Mouse ears and stuff with all the construction paper I've got. Um, because I love my grandma that much. And I think more people should respect our elderly and think, dude, where the hell would you be without them? Without our grandmas, we wouldn't have our moms or our dads or even be here to give birth to our children and have mental breakdowns thinking, crap, our parents were right again. And... It's calling me. I love it. An idiot is attempting to reach you on your cellular device. God, I love these ringtones. Anyways, um, and that could be anybody. I don't care. Taking a moment for me. So, um, I just want to say, Jazzy, Susie loves you. I tried to get down there today, and Mother Nature sucks. But I promise you, I have your Christmas present. I'm going to have a little brown Valentine's necklace that you can wear all year round. And I'm going to give you the biggest hug on the planet when I see you and my brother and um outside everybody else thank you for showing some love for me and my family and my grandma and um you know just being there so kudos thank you god bless you bendiciones adios god bless take care
And happy birthday, Colin, whose birthday is coming up. Adios.